hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love if this is your first time here you're highly welcome to my old subscribers i say a big thank you to you for the love so today i'll be showing you how i made this dress with crinoline i'll be dropping the link to the shop where i bought the crinoline on aliexpress i'll be dropping the link in the description box this crinoline is very tiny it's less than one inches in width i can't remember how many yards i think maybe 25 yards of crinoline or so and i used up everything so guys please i just want to beg you guys share my videos for me please share it on your facebook on your whatsapp there might be people that might be interested in watching it share the videos for me please so that i can have views and i can do giveaway for you guys because these dresses my kids don't really need them i just make them like just to teach people who are interested so they don't really need them because we don't really go to parties where i live so it's just i'm just piling up ball gowns around my house if i'm able to get enough views and i generate revenue from youtube i'll be able to give out these dresses because i'll be able to pay for the shipping fee please guys help me share my videos please if you find this video useful like it's important to you please share the video for me i beg you please just share it on your facebook and whatsapp there might be people who will need this video please guys also if you know that you appreciate what i'm doing there is a section under my um videos where you see thanks you can just click on it and if you feel like giving me anything you can click on it and then you'll be able to give me something so that i can have enough money to buy materials to do more tutorials please i'm not fussing anybody i'm only asking like if you can do it but if you cannot it's fine you know please don't forget to help me share the video and give this video a thumbs up let's get into the video for this tutorial i'll be making use of a five-year-old measurement and the shoulder to the knee I'm working with is 25 inches, which is the skirt length, and the body's length is 11 inches. So I'm going to subtract 11 from 25, and I'm going to have 14 inches for the length. So I have my tool here. You need your tool, and you need your crinoline. This crinoline is the tiny one I got off AliExpress. I'll be dropping the link in the description box. If you're interested in it, then check it out. So, my tool here is 5 yards. And I have already cut out the length of the tool. So, I have 5 yards of tool by 48 inches length. That's exactly what I have here. So, now we'll be cutting 360 degrees flip. So, since mine is 5 yards, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. I don't want to scatter it. I'm just going to bend it over. You know how you bend your fabric if you want to cut 360 degrees flip. I'm going to bend it like so into two. And I'm going to bend it again over into two. Now my two cones are 10 yards. I try to divide it into five yards first because I don't want it to waste. If I finish using this five years and I find out like it's not as full as I want it I'll go ahead and cut out the other five years so now I'm just going to measure the length I have here so I have about 19 and a half inches here so I'm going to measure this part what I have here so this side is longer so I'm going to shorten it to be 19 and a half inches too okay like so So now remember I said the skirt length is 14 inches, so I'm just going to make it 15. So now I'm going to start from this bottom part now and measure 14 and a half. Or measure 15 inches, sorry. I probably have four and a half inches left. 
So from here now, I'm going to mark what I have, which is four, in, four and a half inches. So that you guys can see it well. So from here, I'm going to be marking four and a half inches round. And then I'm going to connect the lines together. Now, from this point now, I'm going to measure my 19 and a half inches round uh, mark. So now you're going to go ahead and connect your markings together. So now that I have this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now I have this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So now, I'm going to go ahead and open one side. What we have here is more than 1440 degrees peplum because we have cut out 5 pieces of 360. So now, I'm going to go ahead now and join them together. That will be straight line. I'm done joining it into a straight one circle. You can see joining here. I've joined all of them together into a straight one circle. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fix the crinoline. line. So I'll just take you along to show you how I'm going to fix the crinoline. line. So now guys, this is my tool. We're going to be starting from the wrong side of the tool. When I mean the wrong side, I'm gonna show you now. I'm going to use the joining to explain the wrong side. You can see this side where the joining is coming out. That's the back of the joining, not the front. Not the clean side, not the front. This back side, that's where we are going to start from. So now, we start from the beginning. Take your crino line. This is the crino line. This is it. You're going to take your crino line and put it on top of your tool like so and then you bend it over now I'm going to place it on my machine and I'm going to start sewing it So this is the end. I'm just going to cut the crinoline away. I still have a little bit left in the crinoline. So now we're going to go ahead and gather the upper side. Just going to change this thing to a gather footer. So I think like if you are into making kids dress. It's very important that you get a gather foot. It's going to help a lot. Make your work faster. So this is the gather foot. This is what I'll be using. So now, I'm just going to start gathering this other end. This is how easy a gather foot works. My fabric is too light. I don't know if you guys will see. You can see that. Look, it's just going to start gathering it for you. Let me show you what it has gathered. This is what it has gathered. You see that makes your job easy. I think you should get it if you are interested in kids gown.
So now after gathering cell, I'm going to check if it's equal the weight of the measurement of the child. The waist measurement I'm working with is 23 inches. So if I measure it and it's still too long, I'm just going to regather it again. So guys, this is what I have. And I have crinoline left. So this remaining crinoline that I have left, I'm going to use it too because I don't like the way it is. Maybe because my crinoline is not really the hard one. I don't like the effect I'm getting. So I'm going to take this one and this two that I said comes in 12 inches. I'm, and you know, this one is straight now. I'm not going to cut it flat. I'm going to go ahead now and sew it on the end. I'm just, I'm just going to sew it the same way I did for the circle. Just place it like so, flip it over and sew. That's what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and sew this one until I finish up this crinoline. So guys, I'm done sewing the one that is straight. This is it right here. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and place this one on top of the flare one, like so. So now this is the flare one. So I'll make sure that when I gather it, the waist is 23 inches which is what I'm working with. So now it's longer than 23, so I'm still going to cut it small. Then I'm going to go ahead and place this second layer. Remember this first one, I cut it as 15 inches. Now this one is 12 inches. So I'm just going to place it on top. That's why you see like the length, they are not the same thing, which is kind of the effect I'm looking for. So let me go and place it on top and gather them to be the 23. So it will be 23 inches for the waist plus 2 inches. So I have to make it 25 inches for your zipper allowance. You need 2 inches for your zipper allowance. One on the right and one on the left. I'm going to help to join the two steps together. This is what I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out lining. I'm going to cut out the length of... 15 inches and I have 2 yards here so I'll just cut out 15 inches by 2 yards because I am going to cut it to be 25 inches the same as this width and I'm just going to step it on top of it I'm done fixing the lining to it this is it it's the lining so I'll go ahead now and cut the upper part of the dress. This is it's very full. You can see there's no need for any hard net. So guys, for the upper part of this dress, I'm going to be using this my lining, this is my Dutchess satin, and my lace fabric. I have this lace fabric I'm going to be using. So now I'm going to be drafting it directly on the lining, not on a pattern paper. And I'm going to be cutting both the front and the back together. So my lining is already folded into two, you can see. I'm going to fold it into another two because I'm cutting the front and the back together. So now to put my fabric on fold, I'm going to use the bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 24. I'm going to divide 24 into four places and I will have six inches. So I'm going to add one inch or one and a half inch seam allowance. So what I have right now on fold is seven and a half. So now I'm just going to extend my tape here for, because this down one will be for the back. So I'm going to rule a line, one inch for my zipper. So now I'm also going to measure the length. The length I'm working with is 11 inches. Plus one inch, I'm going to have 12 inches. So now this is our center front. Let me trim it so that you understand. So this is the center front. Hmm? This is center front. This is the back. So now from the center front, 
I'm going to measure the shoulder. The shoulder I'm working with is 10 inches. Divide 10 by 2, you have 5 inches. I'm going to mark it. The neck width for front and back, because neck width is the same thing. The neck width I'm working with is 2.5. I'm going to mark it. And the neck depth I'm working with for the front is also 2.5. But for the back, I'm using one and a half. So now I'm going to connect the front neck depth and the back neck depth. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've just connected. This is the front and this is the back. So now I'm going to come down half an inch on this um shoulder for the shoulder slant so next thing from this half an inch that i took i'm going to measure the armhole the armhole i'm working with is 6.5 i'm going to mark it so there's no need for me to say let me measure the bust because that's what i use in putting my fabric on fold into two so now I'm just going to curve my, my armhole. I'm not coming inside for this cloth. So the armhole for the front and the back will be the same thing. I'm just going to curve it. So that's my armhole curve. So now, when I want to cut it, I'm just going to put half an inch allowance around the shoulder and the neckline and the armhole when I'm cutting it so when I'm done marking it already all I need to do now is go ahead and cut it so now when you are cutting you have to cut the back neck first cut it together before you cut the front So now I'm going to open the side. And then separate it and cut out the front neck. Now that I have this, I'm going to use this now to cut out my Dutchess satin. I'm just going to place it on top and use it to cut it out. So for the front part, I don't want to put the lace everywhere. You can see the way how I've placed the lace on top because the lace has border. So this is the Dutchess satin. And this is the lace. So I'm just going to follow the border in a way that is going to curve into the neckline. So I'm going to use my pin to secure it down. I'm going to go ahead now and cut it. Here's the front. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut the back just place the lace on top and cut the back there's no design on the back so this is the back and this is the front so i'm just going to go ahead now and press it around secure the lace to the doche satin all around just going to do that for the back and for the front i'm going to secure the armhole the sides and underneath I'm done pressing it around. I also went ahead to just join it on the shoulder, the back and the front bodies. I join it on the shoulder. Also, I join the lining on the shoulder. So now, I cut out this strip of lace. My lace is not even enough. I have to manage it. I cut out this strip. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and curve the side. I want to use it as 
sleeve small ruffle sleeve i'm just covering the side you can ignore this part see what i did i just curved the side that's all i did so now i'm going to notch the middle or you can secure it with pin and then you will take your main fabric like this that middle that you notched you are going to fix this sleeve there now it's going to be right side facing right side i'm going to secure it with pin now you will determine how um, long you want it to be so i'm just going to measure from the shoulder joining i'm going to measure up to four and a half inch and mark so i'm going to pin this other end on that four and a half So now I'm just going to pleat it or gather it on the shoulder like so. So I'm going to measure four and a half to two on the shoulder here. And I'm going to mark it. So I'm going to secure it with pin here too. And then I'm just still going to gather it like so. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm done fixing that part of the sleeve. This is it. This is what it's going to look like. So now I'm going to take the lining. It's going to be right side facing right side. I'm going to place it on top of it like so. Now I'm going to secure my shoulder, the shoulder of the main fabric and the shoulder of the lining with pin. I'm going to sew it around. I'm going to sew it around the neck, round to the zipper line. I'm going to stop one inch before the zipper line. After sewing it round, you can see I pushed the sleeve out when I'm sewing it. So after sewing it, I'm going to push the sleeve inside, and then I'm going to sew the armhole round. Make sure to push it inside. But when you are sewing, you can see if you push it inside right from where you start from the neck, it will enter inside the neck. So when you want to sew the neck, you push it out and sew the neck round. Then after doing that, push it inside and sew the armhole round. I'm done sewing it. I'm just going to go ahead now and turn it out. This is it. I'm just going to go ahead now and give it a good press. After giving it a press, this is what I have. So now, I'm going to take the front bodies of the lace, like so, and, and, and the back. You can see it. Take it like this. And then sew it straight to the lining. Okay? Just do it like that. With your allowance so, and i'll do the same thing for the other side i'm done closing the side and this is it now i'm going to attach it to the bottom so this is the bottom all you need to do now is sew it from this end now you're going to take it like so you're going to take only the main fabric, separate it from the lining, separate it. Now you're going to sew it, say from this zipper line, say I've separated mine. Sew it from this zipper line down to the other end of the zipper line. So now I'm done attaching it, like you can see, this is it. So next thing, I'm going to take another lining. So I've cut out this lining. This one is just one yard by 13 inches. 
So I'm going to go ahead and fold it at the bottom. Then, after folding it at the bottom, I'm going to take this lining for the upper part of the dress. I'm going to start from this end of the zipper line. I'm just going to pleat this lining till I get to the other end of the zipper line. You can see the way I'm holding it. This is how you are going to do it, like so. You can see it's fine. Going to sew it like this so that by the time you flip it over, the rough edges will not be showing. And I'm done putting the second line in. All that is left now is to close it and insert the zip. So normally you are just going to take the the two now and the first lining. This is the second lining that we put just now. This is the tool and the first lining. You're going to close it with this other side. Close it with your one inch allowance that you give up to you from this um joining here you're going to come down by four inches before you close it down once you close it you are going to insert your zip and then use this one from the neckline here you will now use it to turn the zip turn the zip to the other side so it has hole at the back where i pulled flour from i'm just going to Replace it back with some flowers that I have. Just going to replace it back with a needle and thread. So that's basically it how to make this dress. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.